Okay, here we go. Good morning, Crusaders. Happy Friday, everyone. Um, we are going to get our day going here. So uh, we've got uh, a couple grade six students here ready to lead us in prayer. So I'm going to ask you to please stand, face your prayer centers, and ready yourself to join in. Take it away, guys. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Holy Father, we pray for you. We we pray, we pray we always think always thankful for our families for the food and we have shelter that keeps us safe and warm we are so thankful for the amazing environment and the beautiful country that we share with you also we pray for the homeless and they find job and re re reconnect with their with their families for those who struggle with addiction we pray and we pray for them to get help and the support we, they need we want to let students with depression and anxiety know that they are welcome and we care for them. Lord, help us like your son Jesus Christ to help the school and the world and let us be kind, honest, and helping. We pray in your name, Jesus Christ. St. Ter Teresa of Calicutta, pray, pray for, for us. us. Awesome. awesome. Thanks a lot, guys. Really appreciate it. Good stuff. All right. Before I get started with my announcements, uh, we have another couple students here. Our Cru Kindness Crusaders is getting up and running for the year. And so we have a couple people here with a special message. Here we go. Hi, my name is Sayla. And my name is Gracelyn. We're part of the Kindness Crusaders. October is Child Abuse Prevention Month. In recognition of the one in three Canadians who have experienced a form of child abuse. On October 24th, we urge everyone at Ecole Mother Teresa School to wear blue to support the children, youth, and families affected by child abuse. This month's focus is integrity. I'm sure you've noticed the integrity poster around your class or the school. We would like to explain why they're there. Again, we are completing the five different themes throughout the course of the year, starting with integrity. The other kindness pillar themes we will explore later our responsibility, courage, caring, and inclusiveness. However, the next several months of our focus will be on integrity and how it connects to the familiar concept of honesty. Think back to our definition of integrity, doing what you know to be right and being kind in all situations. What are some examples within your day-to-day -day activities that, that this might be challenging? Thank you for your time and have a great Friday. Awesome. Thank you so much. Kindness Crusaders leading the way for us here. Much appreciated. Have a great day, guys. Okay. We've got some other announcements for you. First of all, we have some items that have been found that I'm thinking people are going to want back. All right. Got a calculator here that was found. That's going to be useful to whoever lost it. So make sure you come to the office as well as a pair of glasses. Okay, guys. So make sure that uh, if those are yours, you come to the office to claim them so that you have what you need, okay? Um, safety patrollers, if there are any grade five or six students that are still interested in being part of the safety patroller team, please come to the meeting today during the second half of lunch recess. So that's 12 o'clock to 12.15 in the gathering area by the chapel. Green team garden club meeting, okay? That'll be today in Mrs. Cunningham's room, which is room 302 at 12 o'clock. New members are welcome. So please join in if you're feeling it, guys, okay? Junior girls volleyball is canceled today as Miss File and Miss Glover are both away. Grade six band celebration. Our, our baby band concert was a huge success. Congratulations to all the grade six band students who came out and worked really hard to show off you, for your parents. Miss Clausen is so thrilled with your performance and we're all very proud of all the hard work you guys are doing. So great job, everyone. Senior girls volleyball. Congratulations to the senior girls volleyball team for showing awesome sportsmanship and transitional play during their match against Koinonia last night. They defeated Koinonia in three sets. Well done, Crusaders. Little Mermaid rehearsal after school on Monday. There will be a rehearsal on Monday, October 24th, in the music room for all grade sixes and any seven to nines who are able to join. Rehearsal begins at 3.30 and ends at 5.00. We will be helping the grade sixes learn under the sea and kiss the girl and we'll hopefully start the choreography for kiss the girl. It would be much appreciated to have as many seven to nines there as possible. So our songs can have that big cast feel. Thank you in advance. 
Okay, uh, that brings me to the end of announcements. We do have a couple birthdays to celebrate, all right? Today, happy birthday to Lucas K in 5-3. We hope you have an awesome Friday birthday. And a weekend birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday to McCray or McCullum M in 7-1. McCullum, have a great weekend birthday, okay? All right, with that, um, we have O Canada that's going to play here shortly. So I'm going to sign off. Go and make it a great day, everyone.